everyone, we're Jess and John from True Relief Travellers and we wanted to show you around our latest van build. Come along. No, not come along. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the first van build. Put a, a custom made roof rack on it uh, with four spotlights and a fire more awning. Um, I put some all terrain tyres and some rogue alloy wheels on it. And then we went for side window and two bunk windows and we put the back windows in. We went for fixed windows because we don't really like the slide windows for security, um, whereas these are obviously a lot better for that. Put, put a ladder on the back so you can get onto the roof, clean the solar, and we've got a reversing camera and then the step with all the sensors in. Uh, lovely English day, freezing. And around this side we've just got the vent for the Truma and then we've got the 240 volt socket if you want to hook up to mains if you're on campsite. You come around to the back, open the garage. What we've got is we've got a shower point here and then we've got the actual shower lead here. It just pulls out, hooks in there and then you've got a shower. You can hook it in here if you want to have a shower outside. That's real good. These are brilliant. These bullfinch showers are brilliant. We've got one in the front as well, but I definitely recommend them. And then we've got a bit of storage under the, the wheel well there. And then that's the, the water tank where you can see the level of it. We don't go for... Um, electrical gauges because we just try and minimalize any electrical power that's being consumed. We've got the power usage here and then we've got the switches They're in the, in the garage there, the water pump, the USBs and then under here we've got 260 amps of batteries and then we've got a thousand watt inverter and then we've got the Victron DC DC charger and then also the 240 volt Victron charger and then we've got the P MPP to K MPPT controller solar isolator and then that's the Truma 10 litre water heater as well you could put a bit of storage in there as well but again it's just like that so it's easy to get to if anything goes wrong and then also you've got your 12 volt fridge just at the back there so plenty of storage this is inside the cab, like I say it's absolutely immaculate. So we put um, a shelf above these sun visors here, but we made them so you can still use them for hats and bits like that. And then we've got a reading light there, and then also these touch light puck lights, and one of them in the front there. And then these two double seat here, this spins round, and so does the single. And like I say, it's an AC model. So welcome inside, um, inside we've gone for a layout based on our van but just made some tweaks to make it a little bit better. So if you come into the front you've got the two swivel sheet seats that John showed you earlier um, and they turn round to make this lovely L shaped sofa with this uh, chair here which folds out into a bed that we'll show you a little bit later. Um, you've got your dual stove uh, gas cooker and there's an Anderson gas tank as well so you can just fill up at a fuel station um, and then you've also got this swivel shower here so we've got two outdoor showers on this one um, because it depends where you park up we use this quite a lot on ours so it comes in and out as well um, and you change it with just a click of a button to make it so that you've got um, a normal tap flow or a shower flow which leads us on lovely to our sink so it's got a nice little cut out in the corner here uh, to take the chopping chop block out. Um, and you've got a really great deep sink there, which is fantastic for if you want to wash your hair um, and obviously doing lots of dishes or you can just put this on to hide your dishes. 
Um, so that's your sink area. Got a nice little bit of storage up here, and this is the remote for the fan. So you've got the Max Air fan over your bed, and then you've also got this vent here, um, which comes with a fly screen and with a blind um, if you want to close that off. You've got a good bit of storage up here, and then you've got cupboards all the way along. So you've got um, a little cupboard here that's currently got the shower nozzle in it but um, you can put that wherever you want um, and then you've got four big cupboards at the back here as well so you can get a mass of storage in those there's also these lockers down the side of the bed um, which there's three on each side um, and you'd be surprised there's a huge amount that you can get into those so coming back forward, here we've got our two 240 volt sockets, which are powered by an inverter, which is on a remote control for the back as well. And the reason we've done it like that is inverters use a lot of energy. So again, with this being off grid, um, that's gonna save you lots of power. You've also got your 12 volt socket there. Um, and then these two switches are for your Truma combi boiler, which is a 10 litre hot water that you can use on either power or gas. On this bit here, You've got some lovely drawers that pull out and they're really big deep drawers as well and they come all the way out so you've got lots of space in there for your pantry items um, whatever you wanted to put in them really um, we've also got an 85 litre isotherm fridge um, so that's a nice big fridge um, with the uh, veggie drawers at the bottom and everything and a nice little freezer compartment at the top um, so you get a week's worth of shopping in there easy. You've also got on this side two big cupboards. So in this drawer, or in this cupboard, sorry, you've got three big shelves um, that you could put, well, like I say, whatever you want in there, tins, uh, pans, whatever. And then you've got a lovely big cupboard under the sink. And this cupboard we use for our bins and our drinking water storage, um, but you can use it however you want it. What we've also got is a built-in outdoor uh, table, which just folds down neatly. It's got this supporting strap as well. So then all you need to do, grab your chairs out, pop them down. You've got a nice little um, relaxing spot to enjoy the sunshine. Um, and then fold it back up, light as anything. And the all the worktops in the van are built out of a special solid wood um, that's made to be specifically lightweight so um, you're saving lots of weight in the van they're really easy to move around you've also got down here um, a little shoe storage bit so it's got a lackey band on it to stop you losing it and over in the corner is your external uh, gas barbecue point as well which again is connected to the underslung gas tank um, this is the nice little lounge area We've got loads of space here and uh, conveniently placed is your control for the night heater um, so it's climate controlled, just set it to whatever temperature you want it to be and it will come on. Um, you've also, like I say, got this fold out bed area here, um, which I'm not gonna lie, this is where I would choose to sit. Um, it's perfect length for me. Um, and I'll show you a bit later how this all folds out, but we'll move on to the bathroom. So, oh, yeah, bugger. <laughs> We love this design, it's something that we did in our van for the bathroom and um, we love it because you get so much worktop space but you still get to have a, a full bathroom available to you. So this just folds up easy as and there's a little notch on the back of this door here and it opens up to a nice big bathroom shower room. So we use composting toilets. Um, we find that they're much better and um, more environmentally friendly as well. Um, and then you've got your duck board in there that's removable. Now, when you're gonna have a shower, you can either leave that in, which what I typically do, because I've got my shower gels and stuff on it. Um, and there's loads of room, as you can see. I've got masses of space in here. Um, or you can take it out. You set up your shower or to have a bit of privacy in the bathroom. All you do is open this latch and you can see we've got our shower curtain set up here. So there's two little clicks, one and two, and this folds down. And then this part is super lightweight again, like I say, and that just folds up on gas struts and away you go. And you take your shower curtain and it 
folds down and out so that it comes out and you've got more spaces on runners. So it just slides out and clicks in. Um, and then you've got the shower curtain on this side goes all the way to the floor so you're not going to get any leaks. Um, and it's on Velcro bits to go in the side. So you've got masses of room in the shower. Um, and also some privacy for when you're going to the bathroom if you want it as well, but that folds away super quick. So I'll show you that. So you just step out, put the tabs back on your shower curtain, push it back in, gather it up, roll it in on itself, like so. Drop this one down. This goes up, and your shower's packed away. You've got this natty little uh, fold-out step that sits down by the side of the handbrake. So you fold that down, and the cushion for the bed actually sits behind the pillows. So it's just pillows popping up and grabbing this cushion down, which fits perfectly on there. Put your cushions back in position and then just move this out of the way and then this bed you put two hands there slides out beautifully onto the bench top here and the extra bit of mattress just slides in nicely there. Um, it's up to you as well you can always pull the sheet over the bottom to connect it but there's no need to because these little bits here just hold it in and then you've got your full size double bed and you need to get up in the night for a wee you've still got your, your bathroom available and then to hop up into bed it's just a little step up you've got your lovely comfy bed um full size double um and you've got either side we've got bendable dimmable so they go up and down uh, touch reading lights as well um, and two USB chargers um, we've got both of those on each side um, and a feature we love of this design is that you can sit up in bed comfortably and you're not going to whack your head if you sit up but you've still got massive storage in the garage as well all right so so this is the lagoon table set up we've just got the, the actual table leg and the table up here you slide that lock that up to what height you want and then obviously that swings around and then you get the table out put the table in and then I made it so basically these slide out like that so you can have it as half a table but then also you can have it as a full table so have it out of the way, move it in, and then like I say, if you wanted it as a just a half table, if you weren't having dinner or anything like that, spin it around and have it like that. And, uh, and then to put it away, just twist it off, and then same again. So this is our little design for the third bed. It will be a, a single bed for an adult or a child, which is great. And it's a lovely comfy seat. Already told me before, makes a great L shape for sofa. So it's really simple. All you do is this is magnet that's on, so it pops off, pop back to the side. And then this is on runners. So it just slides out, one, two, three, like so. Pop that cushion to the side, and these ones just need to hop out of the way for just a second. There. And then these come out like so. So this one pops into the middle, and this one comes and folds out this way, like this. So you've got a really good solid base for your bed. And then you pop your cushions back in. So one, two, and then 
then the third one is just stored up here. That slots in here nicely, which keeps it nice and firm as well. It makes it nice and comfy, and it's actually made out of a proper single bed mattress, so it is really comfy. And all of the covers are removable and washable. Um, and then you hop down, and you've got a lovely comfy bed. So that was our van tour, we hope that you liked it. And um, we've got a van in Australia that we're going to go out in about a week's time. We're going to convert one over there. We've got a tight high ace to do. So, yeah, why don't you come along and watch us do that one as well? See you soon.